I didn't realize how many of you guys actually enjoy the post credit scenes where, you know, where they turn into like a chibi and then just have a little fun little moment. We're going to start doing a reaction of episodes one to seven right now. Let's go. Oh, the first one is about the currency in this world. One coin is 10,000. Wait, we got like 2,000 coins in the most recent episode. God damn, it's a lot of money. That's pretty cheap then. But we can get so much money easily. That's crazy because back then he was like rationing and doing all this thing. Eight gold coins only, bro. Like the most recent one where we traded in with the guild. 2,000 gold. Oi. Oi! All right, here's the second one. Oh, this is the original party that uh, we were traveling with. And they're like, oh my god, your food, it's amazing. All we had to do was eat stale crackers and jerky, dude. Oh, this is after they departed and they want this good food again. I wonder if we'll see them again. But I'm telling you, Mukoda should open like a traveling little shop. Like, he doesn't have to open, like, a, a brick-and-mortar shop. He can just have, like, a traveling merchant restaurant. That'd be so good. So much money from it, too. Will they meet again, though? Or will they just gonna be, you know, characters we see once and we're done? All right, here's the third one. What are we doing? The guild... Oh, her name is Bianca. She was a really annoyed one. Remember when we signed up at the guild? She was like, bitch, figure out the rules yourself. Really? Do I have to really do my job? I love her, though. You got her heart broken? She has a thing for Fel though. Remember when she saw Fel outside and she was like, Oh my god! Yes. No, not Mukoda. No, not him. I, I don't think she gives a fuck about us. Like, no way. Wait? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's Fel. Dude! That girl's into that kind of shit! Bestiality! What the fuck? Okay, here's the fourth one. What are we doing? Sui? Puddle. Sui just came out of a puddle like that? One day he just spawned out of a puddle? Oh, these Sui noises are so cute. Oh, let me just eat this rock. Whatever Sui does is so cute. Oh, he's getting bigger. Sui, you can just go pew pew on the goblins, but Sui doesn't know how to go pew pew just yet, right? Little baby slime. Oh. Dude, the little noise that Sui makes is just too much for me. It's like, oh god. Especially when he has a little heart that comes out. It's like, oh. oh. Sui found Lukoda before. Oh. And then Sui was like, my new master, maybe. Give me some food, please. Here's the fifth one. The goddess. Why are you looking so down, goddess? Your blood sugar low? What, what, what? She's been watching Mukoda the entire time. Wonder why she picked up a Mukoda though, specifically. She just wants the sweetbreads too. Please, please give me some. Yeah, it's it's so good. I love Anpan, man. The red bean. Oh my god. Any bakery good with red bean inside? So good. The other gods will look down on her. But now, they're like so jealous of her that she's getting special treatment. Getting the breads and eating it by herself. Here's the sixth one. This is after the training in the dungeon. Oh, and we could have passed out, right? And then, and then this is where Sui started learning how to talk, right? Yeah. <laughs> Belle looks so kind of cute here like this. <laughs> the fuck? Yes, Sui. You're talking out loud. Oh. Oh, that just means we can talk now. <laughs> but Sui's gotta be so special, right? Sui can do so many things, not just talk, but be intelligent, mass re reproduce like potions, get huge in size and make little Sui's like this. Mukoda's passed out, don't worry. He'll, he'll be up soon. I don't know when he wakes up, man. Uncle Fell! What did you call me? Mm. Uncle? Old man? Oi! Oi! <laughs> How could you get mad at such a cute little plum, though? You were born before me, therefore you're an old man. Makes sense to me. Was he always this cool? Yeah! 
no, I think he is. That's right. I think that's cool. You know what? The description of an old man there was very nice. So we'll take it. We'll take it. I don't know if he still likes it. Oh, he does kind of like it. Look at him blush, but he's like, no, wait. It's still an old man, though. What the fuck? Because. No one be called an old man. Oh, he's being so tsundere now. Don't worry, he comes back after he makes Sui cry, right? Be careful. Oh, I'm gonna give him a little barrier. So nice, but Sui could just go pew pew and demolish everything, right? Yes, he is. Okay, here's the seventh and last one, and then we'll be all caught up. And we're back to the goddess. Mm, no, we're, you're just a little needy. Alright, here, here's some tributes. What are we giving her? Probably not very good. <laughs> is this how a goddess should be acting? She kind of reminds you of Aqua. You know, in uh, Konosuba. Just because, you know, a goddess shouldn't be acting this... How do I say? This barbaric-like? I don't know. If, if you imagine a goddess, you know, it should be just so divine. You'd be like, oh, brave hero. Thank you for your, you know, tribute today. But now she's like, what my ass? Bring give me the food. Oh, a little extra today. Western desserts. Oh, I guess it's uh, not like specifically like Japanese style, like Eastern bakery, huh? crazy just just they never gain any weight huh Ten thousand calories of the food but it's okay why because anime girls they don't poop and calories don't apply to them why because they're divine beings all right that's the last one we're finally caught up they're actually such cute wholesome moments the, my favorite one so far has to be the one with sui in it anytime sui's in it it's just so good but hey if you're still here if you enjoyed this reaction please subscribe and check out the other videos and playlists to my channel for even more content and until next time take care